Hello, I'm Gino. Welcome to Dazzle TV. It's uh, 5 30 a.m. here on White Beach in Boracay Island in the Philippines. And I'm getting ready to go on my morning walk. This morning, my topic is going to be things that are different here in the Philippines compared to the United States and things that I miss about the United States. It's actually uh, still not bright this morning because uh, the lights from the hotels and some of the stores here are still on. People are just uh, starting to come out here on the beach. Nice breeze this morning. Uh, feel a little bit of cool air actually. But people are already swimming. People are already on the crystal kayak. People get started here in Boracay Island early. They're trying to get a full day's worth, getting their money's worth for their vacation here in Boracay Island. And from the looks of it, it's gonna be another sunny day in Boracay Island. One of the very first things that you will notice when you get to the Philippines that is different is the food. Food is different. I lived in the United States for over 25 years before I retired here in the Philippines in 2011. I lived in Los Angeles, California, San Antonio, Texas, and Louisiana. Some of the food meccas in the United States. Legendary food trucks in Los Angeles and San Antonio. The best tacos I've ever eaten in my life. And of course, New Orleans, it's some of the best food that I've eaten gumbo, red beans and rice, and po'boys. I miss those food a lot since I've been here in the Philippines. There is just nothing like Tex-Mex food in San Antonio, Texas. Even the breakfast tacos in San Antonio. I just dream of eating those uh, breakfast tacos before I used to go to work at uh, Brooks Air Force Base in San Antonio. There are tacos here and now they're starting to have some food trucks but it's not the same. I know many Americans that come here to the Philippines. That is one of the things that they struggle here is missing American food. For me, I am Filipino, so it kind of balances out for me. Since now, I get to eat good Filipino food. I get to eat lechon, I get to eat sisig, uh, I get to eat a lot of my childhood food that I enjoy, like even here in Boracay, like Taho, Halo uh, Halo, and it's cheaper here for Filipino food compared to eating Filipino food when I was in the United States. That's one of the things I enjoy when I come here to Boracay Island is uh, eating American food here. I get to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken when I'm here in Boracay. There's an Army Navy restaurant here that serves uh, decent tacos. Driving is definitely different here. Driving here is kind of like organized chaos. There is really no rules when you drive one of the things I miss from the United States is the cross-country driving. 
I've driven many times from the west coast of California all the way to the east coast of Florida. And I miss those road trips because my longest drive that I take here in Panay Island is four hours. When I drive from our house in Numancia Aklan to Iloilo City. That's why in uh, 2022, two years ago, Dazzle and I, we took our car and ferried our car from here in Katiklan Aklan all the way to Batangas in Luzon and we took a 30-day road trip of Luzon. I got to drive from uh, Batangas, the southern tip of Luzon, all the way to uh, Pagudpud in Ilocos Norte, the northern tip of Luzon. We even took our tiny three-cylinder Toyota Wigo up the mountains in Baguio City. I remember my one day longest drive during that trip was from uh, Baguio City all the way to Vegan. I think it took us almost eight hours. But we also stopped at the towns before we got to Vegan. Dazzle and I on that trip we would just see something and stop and eat or a roadside stand that had a fruit that one roadside stand that had two pigs so it was a great trip just reminded me of cross-country trips that i took in the united states and hopefully next year we're planning a trip like that again this time we plan on going on a long road trip in Cebu province. One of the things I'm looking forward here in Western Visayas are they're building these bridges here in Western Visayas that will connect Panay Island. It will connect it to Guimaras Island. And then from Guimaras Island, they're also building a bridge that will connect Gimoras to Negros Island. That will really provide me with a long road trip because when that is built, those bridges, I can actually drive from our house all the way to uh, Dumaguete City. That's going to be an epic adventure once those bridges are built. One of the things that will be different is watching live sporting events like American football. I used to be big on American football. That was my favorite sport to watch when I was in the US. Sunday was the day I enjoyed the most because I had a big flat screen TV with surround sound. I would have my chicken wings ready, my nachos, and a fridge full of beer. My friends would come over and we would watch football for the whole day. Here, I'm not able to do that anymore because the games come here so early. They come on at 1 a.m. or 4 a.m. So even if you watch a football game, an American football game here, it would be breakfast more likely that you would eat. And it's not the same for me once I got here because when I was in America, I had friends that we were into uh, fantasy football. So we even have our own draft. I just don't have that. So, I no longer watch many American football games. I'm just thankful that Dazzle 
enjoys watching sports with me here on TV. We enjoy watching the Dodgers when they come on TV here and we like watching NBA games. I'm a Los Angeles Laker fan and Dazzle is a Los Angeles Clipper fan. Another thing that is different in the United States it is all about safety. Here sometimes I feel safety is just an option. Taking public transportation here like the van or bus that takes you from Kalibo to Katiklan is an adventure. Here in our province of Aklan, the van, the public van and public buses, they fly on the road. Even through the mountainous road heading here to Boracay, the windy zigzag road, they pass on blind corners even. The beaches here in the Philippines, there are hardly any lifeguards at most beaches. Here in Boracay, you'll see a few lifeguards, but not many, which is unfortunate because every year there are always people that drown on the beaches. One thing that will surprise you when you get here is the amount of people that don't know how to swim. The Philippines is surrounded by water and there are so many people that don't know how to swim. You'll be surprised when you date a Filipina and she'll tell you that she doesn't know how to swim. There is a lack of formal training on swimming here. Not many swimming pools and swimming instructors, especially here in the provinces. When you see construction sites here, very seldom will you see people wearing hard hats. And most of the time, the construction workers are wearing flip-flop slippers. People riding motorcycles. You'll see kids on motorcycles. More than two people riding a motorbike. That is common here, especially here in the provinces. Jeepneys, the jeepneys here in the provinces, they pack those jeepneys full. They even put people on the roof on the jeepneys here in the province. It's just so different from how safety is taught and how safety is pushed in the United States. Another thing that is different is the efficiency of things in the United States. Most everything in the US, you can take care of online. Here, almost everything requires you to visit the place to get the service that you need. No phone numbers or even if there are phone numbers provided, nobody answering the phone. Long lines are a part of life here. At the ATM, at the groceries, at fast food restaurants. I hear Americans complain about not having enough cashiers at Walmart. Wait till you see the cashiers here in the groceries in the provinces. The grocery cashiers here 
in the province still have to punch the price for each item. No scanners. I miss my family and friends in the United States. So nice when they visit the Philippines and I get to hang out with them again. That's why I think it's ideal for people that live in the United States half the year and then half the year here in the Philippines. If you can afford it, of course, because that can get very expensive, maintaining a home in the US and maintaining a home here in the Philippines. And also, the plane tickets aren't actually getting cheaper. Domestic flights from island to island, not easy. A simple one hour flight from Manila to Katiklan almost always will be delayed because of the flight congestion in Manila. People taking three or four day vacations here in Boracay find out really quick that the first day they have for Boracay is wasted because a lot of times they end up arriving in Boracay close to midnight. It is not easy to travel on domestic flights here because of all the delays. A couple of months ago, I had an old buddy of mine, military buddy of mine. We were stationed at George Air Force Base in California in the 80s. He went to Surigao because he had met a Filipina. And I really wanted to see him, but he told me that he was coming to Surigao like less than a week before he arrived. So it wasn't easy for me to get a flight and reservations. I would have had to take in a flight from here in Katiklan to Cebu and then catch another plane from Cebu to Surigao City and then a ferry from Surigao City to Surigao just to get to him. Domestic travel takes time because the two main hubs as far as flights to the provinces are Manila and Cebu and both airports are very congested. I do miss my family and friends in the United States. I miss the food, a lot of food in the United States that I miss. And I know everything is more efficient in the United States. But I'm happy with my life here in the Philippines and my decision to retire here. This was my home here in Boracay Island, Casa Camilla. I lived here for 18 months back in 2011 and 2012. Not much have changed in this area. There's still my favorite uh, breakfast place here. I spent many breakfasts here and drinking coffee at this restaurant because it had a nice view of uh, Front Beach. It's called Nagisa Coffee Shop. And this is the view that I used to come out every day here at Station 3 in Boracay Island. Station 3 in Boracay is more long-term residents. Many of the tourists that come to uh, Boracay, they go to Station 2 and Station 1. If you want a more peaceful vacation, I would recommend staying at Station 3 in Boracay.